Hi, Caleb and Steve with Brown Us here, back with another edition of Smithbusters. And today we're going to be taking a look at a, a myth, you know, specific to the AR-15 platform. And that is, if you're shooting heavier calibers, such as your 450 Bushmaster and, and other calibers like that, 300 Blackout, that you have to use a heavier buffer because you're using a heavier caliber. We get this a lot on the tech line. And we do. it's a question that comes up again and again. And the truth is that uh, that bolt carrier is designed to take a certain amount of energy from the barrel and go back in the battery, in and out of battery, and your front end is set up to deliver that amount of gas and make it cycle properly, regardless of the buffer. Yeah, when the manufacturer of that caliber barrel manufactures that barrel, they set that gas port diameter to a size so that it'll cycle and most of them are, you know, basing all that information off of a three ounce buffer. Right. The three ounce buffer in a carbine length, the three ounce buffer is your standard weight buffer. So when people call in, you know, they'll say something along the lines of, you know, I bought this, you know, 4, 450 Bushmaster. Yeah. I went ahead and got an H3 buffer because wow. it's a heavier bullet and uh, it's not cycling. And then I tell them, hey, you know, you need to drop down to a three ounce buffer. And that 99% of the time that solves the problem. And another thing, it doesn't matter what that upper is. If it's a carbine, mid-length, rifle. Yeah. If, as long as the back end set up correctly, it'll work with any of them. Yeah, so I mean, you know, there are some different things there, you know, such as your, your blowback operated ones, um, like your nine mil, your 40. Right, they have to have a really heavy buffer. Because they're not using the energy from the gas tube, they're not using gas, they're right. using direct blowback, so right. they have to be heavier. But that's a, that's a completely, right. you know, different setup. And a 308 has a heavier bolt carrier group. Right. So it needs a bigger buffer in order to drive it forward with enough momentum to go back into battery. Exactly. Yeah. So those are completely, uh, those are, you know, when you get into it, those are classified as, you know, different platforms. So those same rules don't apply. Um, but with your AR-15 calibers, you know, your 300 Blackout, your 450 Bushmaster, your newer 350 Legend, you know, all those things like that are generally designed to run with the standard buffer. So. Okay. So why do they make all those weights of buffers? That's to tune your system. If you, you're you running an AR-15, you know, you have different barrel lanes, different gas system lanes. Um, for example, you know, on your short barrel rifles and your 5.56 platform, those typically require a heavier buffer. Okay. Also, if you're running a full auto or something like that and you want to lower your cyclic rate, you use a heavier buffer in those scenarios. As well. So you mean something with a shorter barrel than 16 inches for the civilian market? Right. And typically, you know, like my, I'm, I'm running a 16 inch AR-15 with a mid-length gas system. Okay. But in that, I have a H2 buffer to soften that recoil impulse, but my system is tuned to work with that buffer. Okay. So the buffer, the different buffer weights are for tuning your specific setup. And there's no really good way to say, you know, this buffer weight is going to work best with this rifle and things like that. You kind of got to experiment and, and plug and play a little bit. A little bit. I mean, that's what it takes. But odds are the standard buffer is going to work just fine for you. Yeah. And a new build, I always recommend going with the standard buffer and then adjust from there if need be. Right. So uh, myth is busted. Myth is busted. You do not need a heavier buffer to properly cycle a heavier caliber. Nice. Nice and easy. Yep. So if you have any questions or you would like to add anything to this, feel free to leave us a comment down below. As always, you can also give us a call on the tech line. We'll be happy to help you out. Thanks for joining us, and we'll see you next time.